question. Is heat needed in chemical chains? Why or why not? Are you ready, class? Our objective for this lesson is to explain how matter changes through heat. Let's try. Look at the video on the right. What can you say about the video? What is he doing? Is it safe to eat raw foods? Why or why not? How does he cook food? Is he required to cook food? Let's explore. Activity title. Hot pants. Science skills. Observing and describing. Time frame. 15 to 20 minutes. No, your teacher will demonstrate the activity to the class. Do not play with fire. You will need alcohol lamp or candle, two pans, butter, and ice cubes. What to do? Get two pans, place a pat of butter in one pan and an ice cube on the other pan. Heat both pans over low fire. Observe what happens. Record your observations. Here are some questions from your observation in the activity. Both the ice cube and butter are solids. How did they change while being heated? What happened to ice when it was heated? What change took place when the ice cube and butter are heated? In the activity, both the ice cube and butter change from solid into liquid while being heated. Changing phase matter without changing its composition is physical change. Physical change in matter was observed in this activity. Heating food causes chemical change. You learned from the previous lesson that simply exposing some objects to oxygen produces various effects. Aside from oxygen, another thing that produces changes in matter is heat. Heat, as discussed in the previous grade, is a form of energy. It is described as how high temperature and how low is the temperature? We measure heat using thermometer. Heat can bring about physical changes in matter. Some solid materials melt when enough heat is applied to them. A common example is melting ice when it is placed out of the refrigerator. The ice absorbs heat from the surroundings which will then melt after a few minutes. When water is subjected to heat, it evaporates just like when your mother hangs your wet laundry under the sun. The clothes become dry. This means that the water in your clothes evaporated. Drying clothes under the sun involves evaporation of water from the clothes. Heat does not only produce physical chains. Sometimes heating a material causes it to undergo chemical changes. The chemical changes caused by heat are irreversible. One common example of this is cooked food. The egg that your mother cooked for your breakfast 
has undergone chemical change by cooking. Now, can you bring back the egg into its liquid form before it was cooked? Did chemical change happen to the egg that your mother cooked? Let's answer these questions. Are there any chemical changes because of heat? Are all changes caused by heat reversible? Why? Heating materials can also cause chemical changes. Some of the chemical changes caused by heat include combustion. Chemical changes brought by heat like the cooked food cannot be reversed. It is irreversible because the chemical composition of matter has been changed or affected. Heating materials can also cause physical changes. Some changes caused by heat like melting of ice and evaporation of water are reversible. These examples are physical changes caused by heat and can be reversed. The water from the ice can be frozen back to ice again and evaporated water will become water again when it condenses and falls as rain. Let's go beyond. A dry spell is described as having high temperatures and low amount of rainfall. Continual supply of water through irrigation is required in rice fields. How do you think can excessive heat affects the condition of rice fields? What possible changes do you think will be observed? Excessive heat will cause the water supply of the rice fields to dry up, leaving the field barren. The soil will also have cracks because even water that soil holds will evaporate and plants will die. Let's recall. Create a similar diagram found on the right. Write your own examples of physical and chemical change through the application of heat in the spaces provided. Let's check. Answer these questions. What is heat? What are the sources of heat? Why is heat important? Are there any chemical changes that occur because of heat? Are all changes caused by heat reversible? Why? Heat is a form of energy that is often described as to how hot or cold an object is in terms of temperature. Heat mainly comes from the sun but may come from the sources like fire. Heat is important because it produces some changes which are necessary for us living organism. Let's apply it. Briefly explain how heat is related to the activities on the right. You can use any references such as books or the internet. Good luck. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more video updates. Bye-bye.